Hey guys, welcome to a Mac Apps video for you. Today we are in the program Pro Presenter. Uh, down here is the icon Pro Presenter. If you do know what do not know what this program is, I'm going to give you a short preview. It is a advanced PowerPoint. Uh, it's a PowerPoint on steroids, to say the least. Uh, there are programs such as PowerPoint, Keynote, Pro Presenter, uh, Media Shout. There's a lot of different programs that allow you to do what this program allows you to do. Uh, when you go to churches or big events and you see a bunch of video and words on the screen and lyrics, they're most likely using a program such as this. I call it a displayer program, whatever you want to call it. So this program, ProPresenter, is made by the company Renewed Vision. Uh, it's a very good company. Uh, the program's a little on the pricey side. I believe this is $500, for this program. But if you do have this program, I got a brief tutorial for you today. It's working with video, okay? It's working with video. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video tutorial how to loop your videos. Now, you don't want during a service or during a performance for a video to just go and finish and then it just be paused on the screen. That'll look trashy and it'll look like you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to fix that. Now, I have a short clip here of some candles burning. I click on it and you can see in the output mode here, it showed me that video. It is about a seven second video. Right now, boom, it stops there. When it finishes, the candles just look ridiculous just sitting there. It looks like a still image. Now, if you want this video to continuous, continuously play on the screen, then you will have to make it loop. And I'm going to show you how to do that. If you're using a Mac, you will need to control click or a Windows, you will right click. It will bring up a list of options that you can do. Now, what I want to do in this specific situation is I want to loop the video. So I'm going to then click on loop you will see it changed to a blue outline as well as if you look in this corner right up here it shows a little arrow going in a circle that will signify to you this video will now loop I will click on the video let's look up here in the presenter mode candles are still burning candles are still burning it goes to zero and boom right back to the start no dead time no stoppage uh, no clunkiness it just looks really good and the video will now loop now a few more things for in the video. You can right click on the video and do a few more things. You can stop the loop right there or you can do a palindrome. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but that's how I do. So excuse me if it is wrong. What this will do is it'll make your video go backwards. I'm not going to do that. I don't think there's ever really a time you need to do that. There may be in certain situations but I've never used it. Uh, you can do that or you can actually go to properties and when you click on the properties tab it brings up this and you can actually cue when this video starts and cue when this video ends. You can press play, select in when you want it to go in, and select out when you want it to finish. And it won't play the video in its entirety. It'll actually play it from when you start it into when you finish it. And there's some other stuff over here. You can flip it horizontally, flip it vertically. You can position it on the screen. Uh, you can slow it down a little bit. But I'm not going to go into that because this video is primarily for how to loop videos in ProPresenter. Now, I will do more ProPresenter tutorials in the very near future, and I will do some more advanced stuff. But right now, this is the most uh, common question that I get and that I had when I first started, is how to loop videos. And you can do this with anything. Uh, this is very uh, helpful when you have backgrounds behind lyrics or text, and you don't want it to stop. Uh, a lot of times I have announcements that I put up on the screen and I have a little animation loop behind it. I don't want the animation to stop because that text will remain there and all it will look like is a still image and it will not look as good and it will look very clunky when your video stops behind it. So anyways guys, this is how you loop videos with ProPresenter. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, a DM on YouTube, or comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you.